Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Friday Night Magic. Uh, today, we are doing some Patreon once again. We have Vittorio Grace, who graced us with a wonderful legacy list a few Another weeks ago. Another prison list. <laughs> Another prison list. Um, but this one, this one's a little more, a little harder to uh, build and bring to your local legacy FM. Do those exist? <laughs> people do that. There might be one in the world. I don't Maybe. know. Maybe. Maybe. But, uh, yeah, probably not going to be able to sleeve this deck up because uh, oh, this we, deck... We technically couldn't. Read yeah, it. We, we couldn't either. But, uh, yeah. I'll... We have these uh, very nice uh, chains yeah. of Mephistopheles. <laughs> so if you haven't if you haven't seen uh, what's been happening with the reserve list, which I must say I'm mostly opposed to, but not fully because we have a lot of things on the reserve list that are actually just even still skyrocketing and prefer price. it to just disappear. Yeah, me too. I'd, I'd rather them just reprint these cards so people can actually play this format because dual lands over maybe a grand... Maybe not But like dual lands over a grand like that's that's a bit much I think. Yeah. But uh, yeah so these are like, I don't know, 400 bucks something like that the last time I looked. Yeah. And not only that, they're like impossible to actually find because... <laughs> There's, there's not that many of them. So as you can tell, this isn't the actual no, art. That is not. That, that they although, feature. although, this is an officially sanctioned Magic Online art for this card. Okay. Made by Darken. So uh, that's pretty close. Pretty um, close, then. Yeah. So so this art is available in Magic Online, not with this frame. This was just a cool proxy that I found. I think the, the proxy guy did that or something. But basically, I was just looking up Chains of Mephistopheles. This came up. And I thought, like, well, since we're not going to be able to afford slash find these anyway, might as well just <laughs> get some cheap printouts. <laughs> yes. So uh, we are running four chains of Mephistopheles in this list, but uh, they are clearly not real. Um, yeah, but I'll explain what I'm playing first quickly, because the Patreon deck is a little more important than that, and you can kind of explain how it works a little bit. But uh, I'm playing a deck called that I'm calling Shown and Told, because it runs Show and Tell, and Hypergenesis, and As Foretold. So it's Whoa. like a regular show-and-tell deck, but you've already shown, and you've already told. Because As Foretold. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But uh, basically, you're trying to cheat big, scary things into play with Hypergenesis, Show-and-Tell. There's a single copy of Dream Halls, too, which is kind of fun. Um, yeah, that's that's what the deck does. As for the Patreon list, Pox Line. Yeah. Which is a mono-black control list. Utilizing, of course, Chains of Mephistopheles, yep. and then s cards like Sinkhole and him to Turok to just Small strip parts. our opponent of their lands and their cards in hand, yep. and then they can never draw extra cards, and then slowly beating them down with uh, the Manland, I forgot its name at the moment. Mishra's Workshop. Mishra's Factory? Mishra's Factory, yeah. yes. Workshop is a little different. Workshop's a little different, yes. Um, I think you also have an infinite combo. Yes, so we also do have Leyline of the Void with Helm of Obedience as an oops, I win button yeah. option. <laughs> Which, uh, it's pretty efficient. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty similar efficient. to when we did the energy field list. Yeah. Just utilizing the, Rest in Peace in the same way. Different sort of card, same type of effect. Yep. Um, so the art that I did is... Uh, Oh, I'll have this next to it, but I, I tried to recreate this one, and anything that involves hands is kind of hard to draw with Mr. Boopster, because he doesn't, he doesn't have hands. hands. He doesn't but, need uh, hands. So we decided to uh, to go with this, which is Mr. Boopster taking the place of whatever this demon is, and there's a poor little Frosty that he's just taking Fusty for a walk. You guys remember Fusty? <laughs> it's been a long time. <laughs> yep, so... We are going to be doing this, and as per usual, when we have a Patreon list and a non-Patreon list, that one will just automatically get to go first. And if you have lists for us to play in any format, not just Legacy, not just Modern, anything you want, really, um, let us know. And uh, you can drop us a line on Patreon. Our link will be in the description. And yeah, see you in Game 1. Alright, Game 1. Go ahead. We've got... Those. And for myself. And you're going first, yeah? Yes. Should I uh, leave these on the table? <laughs> no, actually. Okay. <laughs> Alright. We're going to go for an Urborg. Yeah. Hey, you got black mana. A dark ritual. Oh god. <laughs> and a Liliana of the Veil. Yeah! Yeah! And we can each discard a card. Um, 
Island. Swamp. Enter go. Turn one the league. Draw. Just as Richard Garfield and Teddy. <laughs> Play Tropical Island. Pass turn. Wasteland. Yes. And two black. Discard two cards at random. Mm, yep. Him to Turok. Maybe I should activate the ability first. But... Six. Six is a nice number. It is. One to six. Sounds good. Four. Five. What do I get? You get show and tell and tropical island. That's actually really annoying. <laughs> and each discard card. Just discard another one. Well, at this point, I want some of those back, maybe. So I'll discard them. We're cool. Swamp. <laughs> Since uh, you took yeah, my not... way of casting it. <laughs> yeah, that's not getting showed anymore. No. Enter go. Kim Turok is not a permanent. That is true. Would you discard off Lily? A three. swamp. Swamp. Swamps, who needs them? Yeah. Phyrexian Obliterator, which is not in this deck. I wish, though. That'd be sweet. Um, here's an Ancient Tomb. Pass turn. Untap. Draw for turn. That was a really good hand. Add a black. Yep. Urborg. Oh. A black and a black. Yep. Oh, I'm getting hemmed again. Crucible of World. Oh, yes. Alright. And discard a card. Um, at this point... Uh, what is it at this point? Gross. It's progenitus. It just shuffles back. Enter go. Okay. Really need some gas. Okay. Draw a card. Ugh. Go. <laughs> Untap. Not, not ideal draws. Draw for turn. Each discard a card. Uh, you can have Tide Spout Tyrant. I'll discard a Dark Ritual. Uh, Wasteland your Ancient Tomb. Sure. Play Wasteland as my turn. Wasteland yep. your Trop. Yep. <laughs> yeah, this over. Draw. Oh, great. Another Johnny Beefy. Unfortunately, thing. I have Go no ahead. win condition yet. <laughs> it's true. You don't. That's part of a win condition, but... Huh, we don't have the mana for it. The funny thing is, Lily's ultimate does literally nothing. Yeah. Because I don't have any permanence. You don't even have lands, so... Yeah, you hitting that show and tell was... Pretty bad. For Play me. a Wasteland and a Jirgo. Not gonna use her? No, because I like this card. Okay. <sighs> Go. <laughs> Profter. That's not really the card we need multiple of. I don't think I could have drawn worse if I stacked this deck. <laughs> Swamp and Jirgo. Go. Swamp. For and mana. one part of our win condition is a Helm of Obedience. Okay. Enter go. Actually, we can activate Lily this turn because I have two cards. Gristlebrand. Urborg. So draw? Yes. Go. Untap. Draw for turn. And balance magic. Yeah, I would say so. Mm, I don't think we need that anymore, so. Each discard card. Yeah, that's never getting cast. Chains. Three models. And. You don't have anything. I don't have anything. Good. Yeah. Nether Void. All. Spells cast are countered unless their controller pays an additional three. All right, I'm never <laughs> casting a spell ever again. All right, sounds good. And we'll play an Urborg or a land from the turn. You didn't play a swamp? 
That's your land. I thought you did already. No, that was last turn to play the helm. Oh, okay. Sure. Answer go. Go. Untap. Draw for turn. Ugh, never void. Wasteland that. Yeah. Wasteland does our land for the turn. <laughs> Whether this card is in our seems, graveyard or hand is the same, so to each discard a card. Um, Gristlebrand. Rishadan Port. Okay. Enter go. Misty, go. There we go. So, Rishadan Port. Yeah. Four mana. Uh huh. For a Leyline of the Void. Oh. Uh. Am I just dead to that? Yes. If you pay X equals one. And you mill cards until you get yeah. a creature card into your graveyard I, or one card. Can I um can I misdirect that? No, I can't. No. Of course I can't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately it says anything. it's an opponent's graveyard, not also, like that's a not specific a spell that's targeting something. Yeah. I, I know I can't misdirect that, but I was I was <laughs> basically just saying, yeah, I drew that. I had that. You had a misdirection. It would have been great oh, if I had a him. Good lord. Except not really, because I'm on. All right, so your cards. Yes. Yeah. Um. No. So those cards are still in your graveyard. Oh. It's not like rest in peace. Oh. But any new cards okay. would get exiled instead of put in. Yeah. And that one's uh, for either player or. Target? No, for an opponent. For an opponent. Okay. Yep. Which is why it's played in reanimator yep. kind of lists. Yep. So put cards into your graveyard until you get a creature card. So that crack. that gets exiled. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna crack that first, and uh, that will that will fetch me a uh, tropical island. So you can at least have a permanent on the field. So I can have a permanent on the field, and then uh, yeah. So the first the first card goes into my graveyard. Yeah, but it doesn't. But it doesn't. And then the second one, and then the third one, and then uh, so so on and so forth yes. for every single one of these cards because none of them ever hit the graveyard. And so, therefore, no card yeah. was ever put into your graveyard. It's true. Enter go. Got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that him, like, hit the two worst things, pretty much. I mean, yeah. that land I could have lived without, probably, but... Yeah, hitting your show-and-tell was yeah. uh, backbreaking. Hitting the show-and-tell instead of the guys that would just shuffle everything back in. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of a beating. But, uh, yeah, that was game one. We'll see you in game two. All right, game two. Show hands. I like that. That's pretty nice. Good. And we've got... Those. Whoop. Alright. Polluted Delta. Good. Swamp. Mm -hmm. Glorious Dark Ritual. Yeah. Use one of that mana if thought sees you. Um, misdirect that to you, or is it target opponent? Uh, it's tar it is target player. Misdirect that to you, pitching a shardless agent. So I will reveal my hand. Yeah. And I will choose Stark Ritual. Yeah. Go to eighteen. Yeah. That hurts. And then I'll use the other two black mana to cast the chains. You got it. Enter go. Uh, draw. I'm glad I drew a rather useless second dark <laughs> ritual for turn. There's an island, good. Untap. Draw for turn. This island bullshit. <laughs> Rishadon port. Yeah. And Jurgo. Is that target land? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Are you gonna port me on my upkeep? Yes. Well, Whether you want to crack that or not, on I'm not. Okay, it's, it's not, not modern. So. Yeah. So on your upkeep, I will tap your island. Um. Uh, yes, it is tapped. Draw. Go. Untap. Draw for turn. A wasteland. Yep. Enter. Go. On your upkeep, tap your island. Draw. Hmm. 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 That wasteland is really annoying. Uh, hmm. 
play trap. Go. End of your turn, waste the trap. Yep. Now, if you untap and play a crucible, <laughs> that's gonna. I mean, you knew I had two wastelands in hand. Did so... I? I didn't really look at your hand that well, to be honest. So you have to worry about the second one still. Enter go. Well, if you're just slowing down the game and not really doing anything, I don't care that much. Upkeep, tap your island. Yep. Draw. Oh, good. That's a good one. Misty. Good. Untap. Draw for turn. Wow, really? Here's Wasteland. <laughs> okay. Enter go. And your upkeep, I'll tap that island yep. again. Draw. <sighs> God. <laughs> go ahead. Untap. Draw for turn. That is, that was a beautiful draw. Here's an Urborg. Yep. And... You have a lot of cards in hand, jeez. Yeah. Yeah, I'm playing a deck that has, like, the three mana Cascade spell, so I don't have any ones or twos. So keeping me off three mana is pretty good. <laughs> yeah. So I think we're going to go for a smallpox. Uh, Each player loses one life, discards a card, sacrifices a creature, then sacks the land. Gross. I'm going to force that pitching a sharpless agent. Yep. Because I need these. <laughs> and... It is your go. On your upkeep, yep. tap your island. Oh, fantastic. Go. Untap. Drop return. Here's another wasteland, because we drove all, right. all four. <laughs> and three mana for Liliana of the Veil. Yep. Each player discards a card. Shardless Agent. Swamp. You have a lot of Shardless Agents. Mm -hmm. I guess we're all drawing multiples. <laughs> and it is your go. On your upkeep, your island's tapped. Uh, great. Both those were in a row on top. <laughs> and I don't have ten mana, so go. <laughs> Untap. Oy, oy. This is not going, This is not going well. <laughs> Thought sees you. Misdirect that back to you, pitching an omniscience. So I got a 16, and I have no cards in hand, yeah. so I can't choose anything. I basically just don't want you to have these, and I don't care about an omniscience. Discard a card. Uh, this point. As for gold. And it is your go. Upkeep. On your upkeep, tap your swan. Your Please island. be a mana source. Or another eight drop. <laughs> Go. Untap. I, I I feel compelled to point out my Drop top return. cards were omniscience, omniscience, tide spout tyrant. Wow. Island. Each discard card. Tide spout tyrant. I said I said island, but I meant swamp. Yes. And it is your go. On your upkeep, I'm going to tap a polluted delta. Crack it. Response. Okay. 17. You have another basic. It's going to be bad. But... Of course I do. Wouldn't leave home without it. Um... There it is. I was drawing it next turn. <laughs> <laughs> of course you were. <laughs> or drawing it this turn. Yes, this turn. Yeah, because this is upkeep. Um, do you got it? Anything else you want to do? No. You don't want to. Don't want to wasteland my misty. Make me go fetch something else. I mean, honestly, I could try. <laughs> yeah, let's wasteland it. I have sure. three. I will crack it in response. Going to sixteen. Do you got another basic? A forest. I do have another basic. I have three basics. I'm playing legacy. Why are you putting basics in? Because <laughs> there were three in the list. <laughs> this isn't my list. Someone else made this. I just do what I'm told. So, draw for turn? Yes. 
Sure. Show and tell. Yeah. You got nothing, I I got nothing. So I will put in an omniscience, and I will use that to cast Dream Halls. Wow, that's not as exciting as I was expecting it to be. Go ahead. (laughs) Untap. Draw for turn. Um, I guess I probably shouldn't have even cast the Dream Halls, because you could use it. (laughs) Ultimate Liliana? Yeah. I'll tell you right now, I'm keeping Omniscience. Yeah, I know. So. (laughs) (laughs) You might as well make it these four, (laughs) because... That was going to be the thought process. Well, you know what? You can have your forest. Oh, thanks. And an Omniscience. Thank you so much. I mean, you just get rid of it, but... And then we're going to smallpox. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Fifteen. Yeah. And it is your go. Draw step? Yeah. I mean, I have you have no lands for me to tap now. You just have an omniscience. (laughs) We'll hymn you. (laughs) I didn't really want to cast that. (laughs) <laughs> no, no, with nothing else, but... Yeah. It's your go. Go. Untap. <laughs> Draw for turn. <laughs> Swamp. Yep. Enter go. That's not very good. Go. That's not really a card I needed. Uh, not anymore. <laughs> Enter go. You have an omniscience on the field and you're not really doing anything. Um. Hmm. Cast an ancestral. Oh! Aish. So the way this works is discard. Yeah, so. So it's basically three draw threes. Yeah. So on your first draw, you have to first discard a card. Yeah. And if so you can... Discard a Brainstorm. Draw a card. Draw. No, oh, Brainstorm's not very good either. No. So then your second draw, you have to discard a card. Polluted Delta. And now you can draw a card. Yeah. And now you have to discard a card. Elvish Spirit Guard. And if you can, draw a card. Honestly, the Elvish Spirit Guard... Can Cast the Bristle Brain. There you go. <laughs> That's good? Nice yeah. Scene. Um, I don't really even want to pay the life too badly right now, because there's not a lot... Well, you know what? If I hit an Emrakul, cool, maybe I should. You have uh, no cards? Uh, right. Okay. Yeah, if you want to do that, go ahead. Oh! <laughs> I'm going to have to discard seven. Yeah, you're right. Go. Yeah, well, you get to keep one card in the end. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I do. So you could find an Emrakul. Cool. Oh, good lord. Do I pay seven life to maybe find an Emrakul and just win? <laughs> Screw it. Let's have fun. <laughs> Screw it. Nine. Because you, you have to discard a card first. So, discard this other Gristlebrand. And now draw a card. Draw. Then... Yeah, discard, discard draw. Draw. So that's your first draw, second draw. Third draw. Fourth draw. Fifth draw. <laughs> sixth draw. Wait, no, seventh this, draw. this isn't gonna work. Yeah, so this, this is the card you get to keep. Really? Yeah. Because that was your seventh card. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> it's not very helpful, no. Go. <laughs> Swamp. Alright. Enter go. As long as you don't draw a s- smallpox, <laughs> I'm fine. Oh, perfect. Seven. Yep, yeah, we'll take that going to eight. <laughs> go. I'm not gonna do that again, by the way. <laughs> I mean, you, you gotta keep one card this time. Wow. It's true, but I'm not gonna. That going really to. needed to be a smallpox. Alright. Are you dead? I'm, I got a one. Oh, you're not dead. Just have a shot at it then. If you get one. Seven. One. Go. Wasteland, my Rishadon port. Or, sorry. Uh, Rishadon port tapping a swamp. Okay. Rishadon port tapping a swamp. Okay. Wasteland, my Rishadon port. Yeah. Wasteland, my Richard on port. Yeah. Oh, uh, the two lands that I responded to, I need the two black from them. Okay. And then I will sinkhole my Uraborg. I'm gonna force that for free, because <laughs> you don't get to. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> we 
weird game this was. Just draw all my lands. Yeah. Enter go. <laughs> Screw it. Cast a brainstorm. So discard card, then draw a card. Discard a card, then draw a card. Discard a card, then draw a card. And then put two cards back. Oh yeah, from brainstorm. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> All right. Well, I still tried to show off your chains, even though yeah. <laughs> I could have just not cast any of those things. But oh man, what a weird game! I was that trying was. Lily and then chains next, and then chains <laughs> and then Lily. Wow. Oh man. All right. See you in game three. All right. Game three. Good. We've got. Those. Oop. I guess we can just go swamp duress. Yeah, I'm not countering that. So my hand is that. Well, you're not casting hypergenesis. No. And you're not show and telling it out. No. But you also don't have any threats for it. It's worth show and tell. So what's worse? This, if I draw an ass for told, I can cast on the spot. But this could also cast yeah. that. I I and think sh it's probably Shardless Agent. Yeah, that that's can, what I'm thinking. That can hit an Ancestral. So, yeah, I think we're going to take Shardless Agent. Oh, it's Duress, you can't. Right. Oh, right. It's not Nazis. It's non-creature, non-land, yeah. so even though it's an artifact... Yes. Then show and tell. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Enter go. Okay. Draw a turn. What? What the? What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Misty, go. Untap. Draw a turn. Swamp. And uh, three wolf moon you. Him. Force pitching agent. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I got the agent out of your hand. Yeah. Enter go. Uh, I'm not gonna correct that. Yet. Pay one life to just choose the two cards you didn't want. <laughs> Pretty well. Um, there's Trop. Go. Untap. Draw for turn. Him to Turok you? Mm. Yep. Find a four sided dice. The speed of light. There's a pink one. The speed of potatoes. One to four. Two. One. You hit! Please don't be my only guess. You're on the gas. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Close. Pretty well. Might as well have been. And we'll wasteland your trap. Yep. Now I'm in trouble. <laughs> Uh, go. Untap. Draw for turn. Urborg. Three mana. Yep. For Liliana of the Veil. And yeah, each discard. Enter go. One of your basics is down. Go. Great news. Hmm. It's funny because on paper that hand was insane. Hmm. Sinkhole your island. Misdirection, pitching <gasps> show and tell. <laughs> Go die in a hole. <laughs> Enter go. Should have done Liliana first. <laughs> Draw. Discard a card. <laughs> it will be Drag a chain. everything in the wrong order. Enter go. Go. The thing is, I gotta keep playing it out because this is exactly what happened last game and I won that game. <laughs> Each discard a card. Of course. Smallpox. Enter go. I'm getting all the cards that need two cards to be useful. Yeah. <laughs> go. 
Rishadon Port. Uh, yeah. And. The ultimate Lily to. <laughs> to divide your lands. Oh god. It's ridiculous. No, I think it's your go. On your upkeep, we're gonna tap your island. Yeah. And I think this time we're gonna stick to the song and dance. Yeah. And now we definitely can't. Uh... We're gonna ultimate Liliana. Yeah. And separate your land into two piles. Um. Yeah, like that. Yeah. And now choose a pile. I I have to choose. Yeah. I'm. That's that's what I'm wondering. I keep an island. Yeah. Yeah. Enter go. We'll tap your island on yeah. your upkeep. Go. <laughs> Untap. <laughs> Drop return. A wasteland. Yeah. And a ley line on the void. Yeah. Enter go. Oh, you actually get a mana? You get a mana. It's gonna matter so much. It's gonna matter so much. I'm gonna tap this for a blue. Yeah. And I'm gonna pass the turn to you. <laughs> just did my work for me. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what we do instead? You should see the winners that I've drawn. Maybe Are they winners? <laughs> they were, they're winners. <laughs> Helm. So I'm dead next turn or yes. this turn if you have You're a dead land? this turn. Or not this turn. Next I don't turn? have a land. Okay. So. I have one out here. I Actually, I really don't because I'm dead to that anyway. But... It'll be really cool if there's yes. an ancient tomb or a city of traitors on top. Okay. <laughs> oh please. Oh please. <laughs> please just let just let me have this. Let me cast one spell. Go. <laughs> Damn it. It wouldn't have mattered because I'm Wasteland your anyway. polluted delta? Crack that in response. Got an 18. Get a truck island. I should have reached it on port, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. I was gonna tap it instead. Can we switch I, that? I have, yeah, sure. So I meant to tap it in response, and then you can fetch it. Okay. Because then I can blow up what you fetched. Sure. And then... So this is untapped? Yes. And then I can sinkhole that. If you misdirection this again, I will be sad. Um... <laughs> No, because uh, basically I have oh, no. that, and that, and that, and that. So if that was a soul land, I, would, <laughs> I actually would have been able to do something cool. But, uh, yeah. I just realized I spent That's all my mana this turn, even, so. I thought I had one more mana. Doesn't matter. So it's your go. <laughs> go. <laughs> Yay, still don't have any permanents. <laughs> and we will... Dark Ritual. Yeah. And yeah, helm for five. Yep. So uh, explain this already, but that goes there. <laughs> that goes there. And then I uh, go to my turn. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> all right. Well, that that mashed me pretty hard, but uh, that's that's all right because last time I think this guy's prison deck didn't win, so this time his prison deck. Uh, kind of thoroughly crushed. Yeah, I think I would have won the second game if I didn't get greedy and go for the fetch land. Probably, yeah. So. But, uh, yeah, so that was that. Pox line. Uh, not really a deck that you can <laughs> play at home, because it's a lot of money. It is but, quite uh, a lot of money, yes. But it was it was fun nonetheless to play with a card <laughs> that has so that much it... text on it. <laughs> it's so, it's so <laughs> confusing. It's so confusing. <laughs> And really, the effect is not that confusing. And one of the reasons that you, you learn that, like, draw seven yeah. means draw one seven times in a row. Mm -hmm. And it gets even stupider when you get two chains out. Yeah. Because then they have to discard two cards to get one card. Mm -hmm. And then if they can't discard cards, they have to mill. Mm -hmm. And then it still does stupid stuff. So if you have, like, if you only have one card you can discard, you have to still discard it, then mill a card, and then you don't even get the draw in the end. Yeah, it's it's pretty lame. And brainstorm is just like the worst thing ever. It's almost as bad as like one what, for nothing. That's it what change well does. It turns off brainstorm. And yeah. <laughs> oh, your blue yeah. can trips? No. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of fun. So uh, probably not worth the money that it's worth, but that's just because it's sold. So that was this, and we will see you next week and tomorrow, I believe. Yeah. Are you doing commander? Commander. Yes. Yes. So be back for that, and see you next week. Bye. Bye.